2,300 library workers hit the streets this afternoon after negotiations between their union and the city came to a halt. Elena Lafleur has more on how the strike could affect you and what will need to be done to bring it to an end. Tara, those used to working in Whispered Field libraries stepped outside this afternoon to make some noise. Their battle cry, libraries work because we do. There must be something wrong when the librarians take to the streets. Hundreds of library workers and supporters were protesting outside City Hall this afternoon as negotiations between the city came to a halt on Sunday evening. The library's union, QP4948, is asking for better working conditions, more full-time positions, and better job security, demands which union president Maureen O'Reilly doesn't think are too high. In 2012, at the launch of the budget, the mayor, Rob Ford, who sits back there in this building, uh -huh. made the announcement that he wants to get rid of 7,000 city workers. And by my calculations, he's got 6,800 more to go. And that's why this fight today is so important. Now what this means is all 98 branches of the Toronto Public Library will be closed until this is resolved. And the library spokesperson Anne-Marie Aiken says that this could have a larger impact on Torontonians than they realize. Unfortunately they'll have to um, find other study space, other meeting space and we do apologize for the inconvenience. Also, any meetings or programs scheduled to be held at the branches during the strike will be cancelled. And city bookmobiles and home library services will not be operating. Now, many members of the city's Library Board Relations Committee were surprised by the union's decision to walk off the job. City Councillor Paul Ainsley says that he was working with the union to negotiate job security for workers with a certain amount of job experience. Ainsley says that the city simply cannot afford to provide this type of job security for all part-time workers. For Say News, I'm Alina LaFleur.